Well, indeed, Tembegile, we are here at Lutuli House for a one on one sit down with the ANC Secretary General Ace Mahashule to speak on the ANC's national to national list, which have seen a number of objections for the likes of Gwede Mantashe, the likes of Nomvula Mokonyane, Mseben Zizwane, Pegitele as well, whom the PLF has also objected on, and also the President of the Republic, Cyril Ramaphosa, amongst issues that also relate to the book written by Puta Louis Maybach on Ace Mahashule's days in the Free State titled The Gangster State Unraveling Ace Mahashule. I'm just going to stroll straight to him, starting on the ANC's controversial list to the National Assembly, SG. You've received a number of complaints, grievances to the IEC and objections on your national to national list on some names pro President Cyril Ramaphosa and some who are anti President Cyril Ramaphosa and pro uh, former President Jacob Zuma in those ANC days of the two internal divisions within the party. What's your view on that list and the objections? You know what is surprising me, Samkel, is that uh, this process of the list started in 2018 September we are now here and the ANC branches went through this process rigorously so democratically so the National Executive Committee set up the list committee the provinces set up provincial list committees in December we had uh, the National List Conference which constituted of uh, provinces, national executive, the alliance. We adopted a list by the National Executive Committee because any committee, any, uh, any committee of the ANC, it's a subcommittee. It reports and accounts to the National Executive because elected people are not committees. It's the National Executive Committee. So every province, the provincial working committee of every province has been involved in the list. They will see. And uh, before we could, I could even go and register the list, uh, the National List Committee has almost 31 uh, meetings. Uh, we have been briefing the top six. The provinces have been briefed, uh, conveners of province. It has never happened even before 1994, even after 1994. This is the first time that we have been so democratic. And all these names all the time, be it Gwede Mandashe, Nomvula, they have been there on the list. Uh, everybody knew that. But they... SG, at the time, there were no revelations of Busasa, there were no revelations of the Guptas, of state capture, that has taken place over the past three to four years. Now there are revelations, whether they be allegations at this point in time, because nobody has been found guilty by any court of law for state capture. But Gwede Mandashe is said to have benefited from Busasa. Nomvula Mukonyane is said to have benefited from Busasa through the testimony of Agrizi and other uh, former executives of Busasa. You know, in South Africa and in terms of the Electoral Act, in terms of the constitutional, Bella, we are a constitutional state. We are nothing else. If you guys remember, when the Free State ANC lost a case in the Constitutional Court, people said we must respect the law, the supreme law of the country. Now, the supreme law of the country says a, a person who is a criminal is a person who has been found guilty by a court of law. The Electoral Act says the same. The rules of the ANC guide that the ANC National Executive Committee has a right to intervene in terms of 20 names. I can tell you, as times people think uh, this is Isma Khashoggi's list, it can't be. There were people not there in the list. Uh, for instance, to address the, the national question, uh, Dr. Kurenov was nowhere in the list. But the National Executive felt he must come higher up because of the national question. Frolik, a member of parliament, was far down on the list, 436 or so. The national said we must actually lift him up. The same President project. Zuma was there. He volunteered to get out. Mandela Mandela was not there. Because the ANC NEC was allowed 20 names for intervention. Provinces had also the right to intervene. But nobody could touch the 25%. 
And if you talk Peggy Kale, if you talk Nomvula Mkonyani, if you talk, now you're talking President Ramaphosa because of PLF. I, as Secretary General, I hear what people say. I come from the culture and tradition of the ANC. When the ANC leaders are attacked, I'm the first point of defense for that leadership. It is attacked because there is an agenda. There's an agenda of reversing the gains of our revolution. Uh, they will talk for themselves, but I can tell you. What evidence do you have that there is an agenda? Because it is your leaders who have went to Busasa, who have spoken to Busasa allegedly, solicited funds from Busasa to the testimony of Agris, to the testimony of Fender. It is your president's son, Andile Ramaphosa, who has openly admitted with the president in the National Assembly also being accused of having lying to the, to the National Assembly and later on correcting himself. It is Gwede Mandashi who received security upgrades. It is Cedric Flor Flor Florek who is close to Gavin Watson. It is Vincent Smith who received security upgrades from his home. So what agenda is there when your own leaders are allegedly compromising themselves? How many others were, have been alleged to have done certain things in the entire country, not even just ANC? I know people say the ANC in terms of its integrity is different from the rest. But there is no way the ANC itself may want to deal with its own members who also have constitutional rights. Any member, if you remove him from the list, you talk integrity or whatever, he will go to the constitutional court and say, my rights as a citizen. And, and I think they are right. And I'm telling you, those leaders will talk for themselves innocent until proven otherwise. It's a universal principle. Why do you want, uh, why do you want to attack Comrade Mandash? Because I can see the persistent attack on certain leaders, diversion from others, deliberately so. Who are the, who's the who, diversion from who, SG? Time and space is important in politics. Uh, things will actually happen. So. But geopolitics, the politics of the world has changed. The ANC, I can tell you, is the target of those who want to reverse the gains of our revolution. We will talk about these things. Lies are splashed there, well-coordinated lies. Repeat them and repeat them and repeat them and repeat them until people believe them. Can you give me one example of a lie that has been told? There are so many lies. Lies about you and the Kuptas? People have said, yeah, there are lies about me and the Kuptas. Wait and see when I take legal action. Because they are well-coordinated, well-planned, well-orchestrated, deliberate to weaken the ANC, to deal with me. And I can tell you, I'm not the product of anything. I'm the product of the ANC structures. Who wants to deal with you? We'll come to that because I'm following the legal route. You are actually going to see how we expose lies and deformation. Have you started with that legal process? I've started. I've started. I'm watching the space. I'm taking my time. I'm not emotional. Uh, but I can tell you this are simple lies. Somebody you, carries 10 million and gives you 10 million. Are Somebody you corrupt? You, I are am, you corrupt? I am not corrupt. I am not corrupt. Go to the free state. Go and check what we have done there. When it's white, there's no corruption. I will give you the companies in the free state which got to work throughout the years, even when I was there. Nobody talks about any white company which has consistently. Uh, so that space in court, that's where I will actually. And it won't be long. Soon, and in, uh, late, we will be in that space. Who are you taking legal action on? Well, of course, I'll take legal action against any person who have said I'm corrupt. Because Peter, what people are doing, they are saying, we are not saying you are corrupt, we are alleging that you are corrupt. Did you? Because they want to avoid the legal route. Mm -hmm. But whatever, uh, I'm taking the best brains in the country legally. And uh, I can assure you, uh, the ANC is in good space. The ANC is not going to be shaken. Its leaders must be defended. The society, we are not an arrogant organization. Our structures must be out there and defend the African National Congress.
on the piece of paper that you have in your hand right now, I'm not sure if my colleagues can show it, you've got the entire national to national list of the ANC. I saw bits of it of you coming in. Yeah. Do you think that list that you have there represents the ethos, the values of South Africans whom voted for the first time for Tata Nelson Mandela in 1994, whom later on voted for president, former, former president Tawombik, later on in 2009 through the hands of former SG Kalema Mutlante when the ANC fractured for the first time post-democracy with the formation of COPE, voted in in 2009 former president Jacob Zuma 2014 yet again a fracture under the hands of SG Gwede Mantashe the EFF was formed another six percent broke away from the ANC from the nine percent of COPE in mm. 2009 does that list represent the ethos the values and the aspirations of South Africans this is the list of the leadership of the ANC nominated by branches across South Africa respected individuals and leaders within their own communities, still respected by us, not by the media, because uh, the media has its own agenda to deal with the ANC and its leadership. That agenda will be exposed with time. The very same media you're talking to right now. It's not everybody in the media, but there are people there in the media who are actually orchestrating a plan to see the demise of the African National Congress. I'm going to take out this book, Gangster State, Unraveling Ace Mahashule's Web of Capture, by Peter Louis Maybach. It alleges that you ran the free state like a mafia, a gangster. Is there any substance to this book? Well, the man must appear before the court of law and tell the court of law how, how I was running the free state. I was one of the most democratic uh, leaders, I can actually tell you. This book uh, is talking about my struggle credentials. Uh, fortunately, some of the people are still alive. Uh, and uh, let's not give people uh, enough ammunition for now. Um, uh, in South Africa, I'm not fake. In the history of struggle, I'm not fake. Um, uh, things will be exposed uh, in a court of law did because you, these are simple lies did you one early morning go to the former Manga Wungs and Bloemfontein Mayor Tabo Manu, your former deputy chairman in the Free State and speak to him about working with Atu Gupta the two Guptas in anything they needed in Bloemfontein and in the Free State. Did you speak to Tabo Manyoni? Is what Tabo Manyoni alleging a f fact or false? Me talking to a tool, I've, I've never done so. That's why I say wait for the court so that we expose these matters in court. Um, and people who have gone to the Kuptas uh, must come out themselves. They shouldn't hide and say, I took them to the Kuptas when they have been going to the Kuptas many times themselves. And they were saying, the Kuptas must never tell me. So, watch that space. So you had a very good and close relationship with the I Kuptas. know the Kuptas. I knew the Kuptas long before. I was introduced to the Kuptas during the era of Tabombek. I don't know all the brothers uh, Kuptas. Uh, uh, all South Africans have uh, been to the Kuptas house, uh, be it Helen Zile, be it Mongosutu uh, Bitelezi, uh, be it Holomisa, be it uh, leaders of the other political parties. Uh, during Diwali's they've been there, a lot of ANC leaders have been to their weddings. Uh, uh, I've been to Mozepe's house, I've been to Robert Gumera's house, I've been to... What, 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 is, uh, what is your problem? We have not denied anything. Uh, because we have nothing to hide. We are not crooks. I've not actually taken a sign from anybody. But the public must judge me and they must judge the writer of the book and whoever his sources are. Because some of the sources quoted there is false fabricated stories. So Tabo Manyoni is lying in your point of view? A non-factor. Nicolisi Tukwan. Non the former treasurer of the Free State, yeah. former MEC, 
He's testifying tomorrow at the State Capital Commission of Inquiry. He's made some explosive allegations against you and your what persona. Is, what is explosive? He's There's nothing explosive there, because I've not done anything with Nkolisi Dugan. Uh, you will know more about him with time. Just say, say a little bit. What do you, you will know, know about, about Nkolisi Dugan with time in a court of law? When I say court of law, I am going to a court of law, and I want people to appear before a court of law, and they must come out very clear because there is a difference between a commission and a court of law. Have you read this book? I've read. Uh, I've read that those uh, stories. Uh, it's just uh, nonsense. Why didn't you answer to Peter Louis Maybach's 60 questions when, that were sent to you? When did he send me 60 questions? He said he sent you 60 questions when he was in the process of compiling and publishing his book. Where did he send those 60 questions to? So is he lying? He's a, he's a blatant liar. We'll prove in court that the man is a blatant liar. What is your perspective? of what truly transpired in your time in the Free State, you campaigning to be the Secretary General of the African National Congress, what transpired during your tenure in the Free State province? There was the Free State Dairy Farm, there are allegations of an <coughs> asbestos contract which a businessman later on was shot down around Santon. The allegations that that slush fund was for you. There was money in the boot allegedly in that car. That's why I say I have nothing to do with those things. Let's go to a court of law. When people know all these things, they don't lay any criminal charges. They write books. So let's not enter that part of the debate. Uh, the court of law will deal with this matter. Has, you, has your legal I team... I am a credible leader in the ANC. I'm a product of struggle of the people of South Africa. I'm not fake. I will prove it with time. Who's fake? I'm not fake. I'm not talking about anybody. Because uh, when we are propped up by the media, people think that you are a real leader. No. And that's why I'm not worried about the media. Because I know their agenda. And their agenda will be exposed. Who, who are those people in the media? They leave it to me and let me go to court. Do you feel as if there's an orchestrated campaign in the there media? There is against you? There is. There has been against uh, many leaders of the African National Congress. You find them guilty in the public court. Does, does it not worry you that your children, your son specifically, Tsepiso, and your daughter are linked to, in particular, your daughter linked to contracts My with the Free State Development Corporation in the Free State and your son? working with the Guptas, going into business with them, and all the allegations surrounding the Gupta family? No, my sons, my daughters, my everybody has their own uh, right to, to do whatever they want to do. They are adults. Are you saying as South Africans they must not uh, do business, as South Africans they must not be employed in government? What should they do? Are you not using your influence and power I've, with alleged business people I've, for their benefit. I have never done so. I don't sit in bids committees, adjudication committees. I don't run any department. You, after 25 years, you come to me and say, I've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, on the eve of elections. Timed. Deal with him. Um, deal with the ANC. Make sure that they take him out of the ANC. Nobody, nobody will do that to me. They want to take you out of the ANC? Yes, there is a, a well-calculated plan. When? At the National General Council? Let's leave it. Let's leave it. No, the gen I'm not worried because uh, I know I'm one of the leaders elected by branches and structures of the African National Congress, like many others. And the attack is not only on me. Uh, so let's not talk the politics of the ANC, the politics of the country. You were here about the list, let's focus on the list, and I am more confident 
that the justice and the truth will triumph. SG, there is an adverse court judgment against one of your former ministers on Sasa. There is a court judgment on, not even a court judgment, a cold court judgment on Sasa. There is a court, there is a judgment on the former minister of Home Affairs and Finance, Malusi Kikaba, having lied under oath. There is allegations on Mandashe. There's allegations on findings on Peggy Kela through the days of when he was commissioner of the police and the, and the buildings around the scandals with Rusha Bank, with the businessmen. There is Vincent Smith. There is Cedric Froelich. There is Bongani Thomas Bongo. If you are saying that is a true genuine list of the leadership of the ANC, certain quarters of society may say those individuals are compromised. When President Ramaphosa made Peggy Kale the Minister of Police, you guys never raised this issue. That's why I don't understand the agenda of the media. You now raise it, but Peggy Kale has been in Parliament and is minister. And you now come late and say Beggy Kale is not supposed to be in parliament. It's the BNF. Uh, because of, but you know as the media, uh, this question has been there. President Ramaphosa made Beggy Kale the minister and the ANC, but Tabilem is made the minister. With all those facts, was the president uh, uh, not sober? SG, I'm going to ask you a direct question. Did you, as the ANC top six, condolences to Mamnon Vula Mukonyan on the loss of her husband, but would be the reason I will ask this question. Did you call Mamnon Vula Mukonyan before the top six, after you were sent as the SG to go and communicate with her that she must relinquish herself from the list. Did she request to come and speak to the entire top six on the allegations against her? There was no stage where I was sent to go to Nomvola and say, Nomvola, get out of the list. Uh, Nomvola is not guilty of any other thing. Yes, the meeting with top six uh, did take place because I can see your, their sources, uh, <laughs> uh, which you always claim. Uh, that meeting did take place. And, and Nomvola said, like any other leader of the ANC, I have never done things. There are these allegations against, against me. And Nomvola is right, and Nomvola must be defended by the ANC. Did she say the president has been fingered through Busasa? Did she say that Gwede Mandashe himself has been fingered in Busasa? Nomvola has never said those things. I don't know where you get them from. SG, the Integrity Commission. We are taking the list to the Integrity Commission. What's the thinking? What's the basis behind I'm this? I'm sure the, the Deputy Secretary General has addressed this matter. And uh, I agree with his position, uh, or with uh, the position he has actually stated to you. Fortunately, you interviewed her. So what she said is what the ANC say. One voice. One voice. Yes. Which would be, when are, the, when are you receiving those recommendations from the Integrity Commission? Have they started with their work? What update have you received from them? And when was this message communicated to them? I'm not sure, because the DSG is dealing with that matter. So it's an, it's an internal ANC matter. My last question to you. Will you be at liberty to share to us the processes of your legal process with those whom you perceive have an agenda against you? And Peter Louis Mayberg's book, would you be able to share with us the communication between yourself and the legal team and the kicking off of the processes. We must be informing you the time we go to court. And uh, you must go to court. This must be publicized. Um, it must be on 403. Uh, witnesses must come. Uh, all those people cited there must come and go to a court of law and be interrogated and must come with proof and facts. And I can tell you 
I have never done anything which is unlawful, illegal, wrong, and ethical. Are you corrupt? I asked that question for the last time. You know, 1996, Terrell Gota as Premier said I'm corrupt. He established a commission of inquiry. That commission of inquiry took more than nine months. And I was never found, even by that commission, to be corrupt. And you, the media, you never actually related this story to the public. So in the eyes of the public, I still carry that stigma. And that's why I'm here today. I didn't worry about uh, those things because I knew I have not done anything wrong. I can tell you during my term and the uh, leaders, because I always believe in collective leadership. I'm not this individual who makes a lot of noise and uh, see wrong in other leaders uh, and they uh, rush to the media. Uh, I carry the ANC as a collective leadership, and I believe in collectivism. I'm not myself, I'm, I'm part of the organization, and, uh, and that's why I will forever, and that's my culture of the history of my struggle. And I spend time in the ANC. I will make sure that I defend the leaders of the ANC when they are under attack. And when they are defended by me, at times, you're going to think it's something else. Because there are leaders who have been in, uh, 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 when they were under attack, who have been defended by other leaders. Are you speaking about former President Zuma? What about him? Are you going to defend the incumbent leaders of the ANC like you defended the former president? We have defended everybody who has not done any wrong until that wrong is proved. When the wrong is proved, uh, a leader of the ANC will step aside by a court of law. That leader of the ANC will step aside. Will you step aside if you are found to have erred? By the court of hand, law. By a court of law, if you have had your hands in the, in the cookie what, jar. What, what choice do you have? And the ANC respect the court of law. But there's a court finding against Malusi Kikaba having lied. No, it's not true what you are saying. Please read all those things. Gigaba, as a member of the cabinet, there are certain processes, and that's why the president had to release Gigaba as a member of the executive, not as a member of parliament. But this has happened to many. Terrell um, uh, said, I've forgotten to fill my. Uh, a book what, where, we, where you declare your interest and uh, when he was Minister of Defense he said uh, I, I apologize to Parliament uh, uh, why are you the media why are you so selective okay on all these matters let's let's engage on the Concord judgment on former President Zuma on and where he later on had to apologize for his alleged or non role in the building of his homestead in Uganda and the 246 million rents. Something. Let's not mix issues today. Today you wanted to talk about the list. Now, people gave you, they make headlines. Mahajuli has changed the list. There is going to be a special national executive committee. Uh, people are going to fight Mahajuli. Uh, there was no fight there. Because the list was, the, was a, a, a product of a collective. The list was a list of provinces, of national, of the National List Committee. Those sources of yours who actually told you that uh, there's going to be war now, uh, we're going to attack Mahajuli, there was no attack there. You speak, there was no attack there. You speak as if this organization that you are leading is in turmoil. And no, this fragile. organization is good. It's wonderful. Is strong. Is going to win elections. We are not an an, an, an arrogant uh, organization. We are. We come from that background and history of humility. We serve our people and we'll serve them. And we are not going to be told by the media uh, that we are not saving them. The people know us better. The people on the ground, South Africans, know us better.
The man who is the former SG of the ANC, former deputy president, former president of the republic, saying the ANC is in a far off worse position than it was before the 2017 NASRAQ conference. What's your view on that? You know, as, uh, as uh, I, might, I, might be, I might be 59 today, but I still regard myself young. Um, we, the way we, have cult we are cultured, we don't criticize the elder, right? We discuss matters internally as African National Congress. And that's where the matters are, we'll discuss internally. Our elders, uh, our elders uh, we will never say anything to them. Uh, they have views, uh, but I believe in collective discussions is SG, and building the ANC. Is the SG of the ANC, is Mahashule safe? Will he come back after the National General Council? Maybe you know something which I don't know. You said that people want to get rid of I'm a product of uh, branches of the ANC. When branches say out, you're out. When branches say in, you're in. So our future, our destiny is determined if you are an ANC Kaden leader. It's determined by the basic unit of, of the ANC, which is a branch. Branches have a voice here. And once branches have elected you, you are elected by branches. You will only be removed by branches, nobody else. But well, that was the Secretary General of the African National Congress, Ace Mahashule, speaking and spitting fire on issues of him wanting to be removed, spitting fire on the issues of the national to national list, defending those whom you thought he would never defend, like who criticized him uh, when he was still in the free state, and also speaking about this is a process that started at branch level to province to national on the issues of the national to national list and also speaking on the controversial book written by Peter Louis Maybach on his days as the premier and provincial chairman of the ANC in the Free State, also saying those are all lies and he is indeed taking legal recourse in these matters. And Samgele, as that story continues to grow over the coming weeks and days, the quote to take from Ace Mahashule's interview with you today is that one where he says, and I quote here, I am not corrupt. Ace Mahashule asked directly there by ENC reporter Samgele Maseko on the back of those allegations contained in Peter Louis Mayberg's book released this past weekend. It's caused quite a stir in the country and will continue to watch developments around the book itself and the charges or legal process that Mahashule continues to say that he's going to take against the author.